Hello, my friends. Happy Thursday. Happy Halloween, as a matter of fact. Guys, I was really planning on lighting up our charcoal grill and making us some burgers tonight, but somebody did not watch the weather and rain is on its way. So we are still craving burgers. So I believe I was gonna either use my George Foreman grill or place these in the oven. I don't think I want to skillet fry these. So I think we're just gonna pat these out, season them, and we're gonna throw these babies in the oven today, okay? So just basic hamburgers. I was gonna make some salad, but um, hubby wanted some of those um, healthy chips, <laughs> the Quest chips, I believe. So I think that's what we're having. So I was all ready to film and show you my grilling skills, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and prepare these and place them in the oven. So let's get started. Okay guys, let me get my ground beef. I'm gonna tear this open. Layla's over here looking. She wants her burger too. <laughs> All right, let me pat you out a little burger, Layla. I'm gonna pat her out a little burger. Guys, make sure your hands are clean. We don't want any nasty germs over here. So this is Layla's little burger <laughs> that we'll go ahead and pat out and set aside. Okay guys, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 300 degrees. What I have learned with baking um, ground beef is the lower the temperature, um, the less shrinkage of the ground beef. So I tried this last week and it was amazing. Plus it's another trick I do too um, with the burgers before we place them in the oven. So I'm gonna do that whole process today. All right, so I got this all uh, mashed in and I'm going to add some heavy, heavy seasoning. We love seasoning. If we can't have it grilled outside, I want my seasoning, okay? One ingredient that we're definitely going to add is liquid smoke. This is a game changer, okay? Let me wash my hands. I should have had some gloves on. All right. I just don't like gloves, though, at all. So I'm going to go ahead and add some liquid smoke. You do not want a lot of this because it is very strong, okay? Oops, I'm making a mess right here as I see. All right. So I can't even estimate, but this is a pound of ground beef, so... That's about enough. I'd say less than a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna put this up. Then I'm gonna grab my seasoning. And this Uncle Dave's seasoning is awesome. Um, this was sent to me by Uncle Dave's. So I appreciate it. We have so much of this left, but this is what it looks like. And I'll have it in the description box as well. So I'm gonna add a generous amount here to the ground beef. I love seasoning, guys. Do you hear me? <laughs> and then, of course, my onion powder and garlic powder. I should have had all these seasonings already sitting out, but that's okay. Garlic powder. And my black pepper. So we already added in the liquid smoke. These are so good, guys. You have to try this. And it's even probably better on the grill. All right, we put all my stuff up. Now I'm gonna go in and just mix it up. Again, for easier cleanup and less mess, feel free to use some gloves, but those gloves kind of bother me and they hinder my the process. <laughs> so I like to get it good and mixed in, okay? All right, and then we're just gonna pat these babies out. The next step is very crucial if you do not want the ground beef, the burgers to shrink, okay? So I'm going to pat these out and then we're gonna place these in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, all right? I have my pan here and I'm just gonna line this with aluminum foil. Helps me with cleanup. I am all about keeping the kitchen as clean as possible, okay? <laughs> I don't, I wash dishes as I go, so this is gonna be easy. All right, just gonna make sure this is okay. And what I do is pat out my burgers, okay, with clean hands, and we're gonna pat these out, and then I'll show you what I'll do next. We have, um, I think we have a burger left over, actually. 
um, in the refrigerator, but we're gonna have these fresh burgers. I like a fresh burger. Okay, and pretty big. We like our burgers pretty full to fit the bun and hang over the bun some. Okay, so we've done that. I'm gonna place it here, and then I'll show you the next steps. This may make about three nice size burgers. Here, if you wanna make them smaller, this is a pound, a little over a pound of the ground beef. So, you know, it just depends on how large you make these. You could get four out of this. All right, we're gonna do one more big burger. All right, so three nice sized burgers just for dinner, usually on the weekends, like on Friday night. Layla, bless you. On Friday night and Saturday, we usually eat out. Layla, you have to wait. Y'all, our dog is so spoiled. And she's telling me she wants the other part of her treat. So she'll get that in a minute. All right, so these are patted out and I'm gonna show you one more step before I place these in the refrigerator to chill for 30 minutes. I'm just sprinkling a little more seasonings. It's Uncle Dave's seasoning on top. That's just, that's optional, you don't have to. And then now I'm gonna make a hole. And as I said, you can hear the oven is ready at 300 degrees. I'm just gonna take this spoon here and I'm just gonna twirl it around. But you wanna go pretty deep. Now again, you can use your finger just but for sanitary purposes, I'm just gonna use this spoon. So just about like that. So this will prevent the burger from kind of, you know, uh, peaking at the top in the middle when you bake it. So I am just, that's all I'm doing is making a little indention here, okay? I wanna make sure my burger's all the way together. I always do that when I bake them and then they come out and I'm like, ah, it's kind of like cracks in them and I don't want that. So this should be deep enough. You can see that and I'll show you a little closer in a minute. But yeah, that's all we're doing. So it does not kind of come to a peak at the top. All right, this one needs to be a little bigger. But that's it, it's not too much to it, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. So Lord knows this is not. All right, and then now I'm gonna place these in the refrigerator. I have enough room. If you don't have, you don't wanna put a pan in the refrigerator, just place them on a plate or however you wanna do that. But I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and I will be back to place them in the oven. Okay, I have taken out my burgers from the refrigerator. They've been in here probably longer than 30 minutes, more like 40 to 45. But trust me, when I touch these, they are very solid. So that's what I want. And we have that indention there that you see in the middle. So now I'm going to place these in the oven for about 30 minutes at 300 degrees. All that I mentioned that I had my oven preheated at 300 degrees before I placed these in the refrigerator, but I was making Layla Girl's burger back here. <laughs> I wanted ours to definitely stay in the refrigerator to chill, if you will. Um, for the 30 minutes, okay? It does make a difference. So now I'm gonna just place these in the oven and we'll be back. All right, guys, it has been about 27 minutes and here are our burgers. Mmm, they smell good and these look great. And they didn't really shrink as much as they normally would. So these are pretty nice sized burgers. I can't really tell if it's picking up accurately on camera, but these are it. We're gonna let these cool. Okay, and before I plate these, I'm gonna show you the inside. Now we like ours pretty well cooked. Let me just not do this and I'll bring the camera closer to you, but these are completely cooked here. I don't know if you can see in here without me tearing up the burger, but this is completely done. 